Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Java JDK on your Mac operating system. In addition, I'm also going to show you how you can set the Java home in your Mac operating system. And also, I'm going to show you how you can run a Java file once you have installed Java on your Mac operating system. So let's start with the download of Java. So for that, open your favorite browser and search for download Oracle Java on Mac. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com forward slash Java forward slash technologies forward slash download. I'm going to click on this link. Maybe I will also put this link in the description of this video so you can directly come to this website. Now at the time of making this video, you can see Java 21 and Java 17 are available now. What we are going to do is we are going to download the version Java 21. Now, when you scroll down a little, you will see three sections for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. We are going to click on the Mac version and then you will see uh, different variants which you can download. We are interested in downloading the DMG installer, but here there are two variants of DMG installer also. So if you are using M1 or M2 Mac, then you need to select this one, which is ARM64 DMG installer. If you are using Intel backed Mac operating system, then you need to choose the last uh, one, which is X64 DMG installer. I am having the M2 chip on my Mac operating system. So I'm going to choose the second option, which is ARM64 DMG installer. So I'm going to click on this link, which is for the download of this DMG file. You can see the download of this G DMG file has been started. So it's not going to take much time to download. Just wait for the download to complete. And once the download is complete, you can see this DMG file is downloaded. So I can directly click on this DMG file here and let me minimize the browser and you will see this kind of window here. In order to install Java JDK using this window, you just need to click on this .pkg file. So I'm going to click on this .pkg file, which is going to start the installation process. Let me minimize this window also. So this is the installer window. We are going to just click on continue on the first window here. And then it says this will take around 336 megabyte of space on your computer. I'm okay with it. So I'm going to click on install here. And then I need to give my MacBooks password. So I'm going to provide the password here and then click on install software, which is going to start the installation of Java JDK on my Mac operating system. And in few seconds, this window will appear, which says install succeed. So now I can close this window. So basic installation of Java has been done. When I press on close, it says, do you want to move JDK installer to bin? Yes, because the Java installation is finished, we can move this uh, DMG file to the bin. So I'm going to just click on that and that file will be moved to the bin. Now Java JDK is installed on my Mac operating system. Now the next step in this process is to set the Java home. So for that, what we need to do, we need to first of all, find out where Java is installed on our Mac operating system. So for that, we are going to open the terminal. So just click on this spotlight icon and then search for terminal and then open the terminal from here. So generally, once you install Java JDK, its location is forward slash USR forward slash lib exec forward slash Java home. So Java underscore home. And then you need to give hyphen and then capital V. And it's going to give you the version of Java which you have installed. So this is the version which we have installed, which is Java 21.0.1. Once we know the version of uh, Java, so now in the next step, what we need to do is we need to set or export the path of Java home 
in our bash rc file or zsh rc file now if you are using the newer version of mac operating system most probably by default your mac terminal is using zsh so we are going to set the java home in the zsh rc file now this zsh rc file is located in your home folder so when you do pwd and when you open the terminal for the first time this is the home folder of your mac operating system or for your particular user right and this dot zsh rc is located in this directory so how to uh, know that you can do ls space hyphen al and then press enter and you will be able to see this kind of file which says dot zsh rc now if this file is not present you don't need to worry about it we will create a new dot zsh rc file so if this file is present we will add our location to it if it's not present we will first create this file and then we are going to add our export now you can use any editor to uh, edit or create this file so if this dot zsh rc file is not there you can uh, use this touch command and then write dot zsh rc and then press enter and it's going to create your dot zsh rc file in my case it's already present so i'm not going to give this command the next command is using a text editor you need to open this file you can use nano to open the dot zsh file or if you are the fan of text editor then you can use open also so just write open and then write dot zsh rc which is the name of this file and then press enter which is going to open this dot zsh file using the text editor let me make this uh, text a little bit bigger so you can see here so i already have one export here in your case if you have created this file for the first time you will not see any export here it will be blank so what you need to do here is you need to copy and paste these two lines here i'm going to paste these two lines in the description of this video also so you can directly copy them and paste it into your terminal so the first co command is export java underscore home is equal to dollar and then this is the path which we have uh, seen in the terminal so we have uh, used this path right user forward slash lib exec forward slash java home space hyphen version and we got this version in my case right 21.0.1 so here we have given the same path hyphen version and instead of this version you need to give the version which you see after giving this command so in my case the version is 21.0.1 so i'm going to replace this version with 21.0.1 so let me just write 21.0.1 here and then in the next line you need to uh, give this command which is export space path is equal to dollar java home forward slash bin colon dollar path right so these two lines you need to copy and paste and don't forget to change the version with the version which you have once you are done you can save this file so i'm going to just uh, click on the file option and then click on save which is going to save this dot shrc file and then i'm going to close this once this is closed you can verify that your changes are saved by just giving the same command once again which is open space dot shrc and i can see that uh, my changes are already there so i know that my changes are saved right once your changes are saved the next command you need to write here is this one so let me clear the terminal because uh, it's full so after uh, saving your export you just need to give this command which is source and then 
give the name of your file which is .zshrc and then press enter. If you don't give this command then .zshrc will not load in the current terminal. So if you don't give this command just close your terminal and then reopen the terminal once again. Okay. So you can also do this. So I'm going to just close this terminal and then quit from this terminal and then once again open the terminal and once the terminal is open I can check the Java home is set or not by giving echo command. So I'm going to just give echo dollar Java underscore home and then press enter and it's going to give you the location of Java home. In my case it's uh, library forward slash Java forward slash Java virtual machine forward slash JDK 21 point JDK contents forward slash home. Okay, so if you have followed all the step which I have shown you, you will see this kind of output. Now once uh, Java home is set and Java is installed, we can also check the version of Java. So you can give this command which is Java space hyphen version and then press enter and it's going to give you the version of Java which is 21.0.1 in my case. So Java is now successfully installed on my Mac operating system. So now let's try to create a Java file where we will uh, write a very simple hello world program and then we are going to compile it and then we are going to try to run that Java program. So I'm going to clear the terminal and now you need to navigate to the folder where you want to uh, create your Java project. So right now I'm in my home directory. You can uh, just do ls here and here I have a few folders, right? So let's say I want to create a new Java project in the documents folder. So I'm going to go or cd into my documents folder and then here let me create a folder called let's say I'm going to just create a folder using mkdir command and then uh, I will just name my uh, folder as projects here and then press enter which is going to create this my project directory in the documents folder. I can do ls once again and then you can see this my project directory is created so I'm going to go inside this directory cd and then the name of the directory and here I'm going to create a new Java file. So in order to create a new Java file, you can uh, use touch command. So just write touch and then the name of your Java file. For example, I'm going to create a file with the name hello and then the extension for this will be dot Java. Okay, so just write touch space hello dot Java, which is going to create this hello dot uh, Java file in your my project directory. So when I do ls, you can see hello.java file is created. I can also go to my finder and then go to uh, my uh, documents folder where, where I have created this my projects folder where I can see that this hello.java file is there. So let me uh, do this side by side so you will be able to see the output also in this finder, right? So we have created this hello.java file. Now uh, you can open this hello.java file by just right clicking on it and then you can use open with and then use text edit and it's going to open this hello.java file. So once this hello.java file is uh, created, I'm going to uh, paste this very simple Java program here. You can find this program anywhere on internet. It's just printing hello world using Java, right? So just write public space class space hello. And then in this class, you need to create a main method with public stated void main. And then uh, you need to uh, write system dot out dot print line and in the parenthesis and between the quotes, just write hello world. As I said, you will find this program anywhere on internet, so you don't need to worry about it. Just copy and paste this kind of hello world program in your Java file 
and then I'm going to save this file. To save this file, to save this file, you just need to click on the file and then click on uh, save or just press command S to save the file. Once you have saved your program, in order to compile your Java file, you need to run this command, which is Java C. It's not a Java command, it's a Java C command if you want to compile a Java file. So just write Java C and then the name of your Java file. In my case, it's hello.java, right? This is the name of the file, hello.java. I'm going to press enter, which is going to compile this hello.java program. And it's going to create this file, which is hello.class. This is the output of your compilation of your Java file. Once you see hello.class file created, now it's time to run your program. To run the program, write Java and then the name of the file. You need don't need to give the extension .class here. You can just write hello here without .class and then press enter. And it's going to print hello world, which is the output of my compilation of my Java program. So this is how uh, you can run your Java programs using the Java command and you can compile your Java programs using the Java C file. So this is how you can download and install Java JDK, set Java home and compile your Java programs on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.